Welcome to the channel Data Science Demonstrated and today I'll be showing you a demo on multimodal reasoning. Multimodal or also called as multimodality is the capability of AI to handle various data types such as audio, video, text, mathematical equations and much much more. And reasoning is the capability of AI to explain its own output. This means that it will produce an output, but at the same time, it will also explain all the steps which went into deriving that output. The demo which I'll be showing you is also available on my platform experienceterrascience.com. You can also try it out with your own data. No coding is required and you will be able to see the value of multimodal reasoning immediately. So my friends, let's jump into the demo, but do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. In this demo, I'll be taking a geometrical mathematical image, asking a question and then letting the AI give a solution to the problem. Now, this is a true example of multimodal reasoning because there are multiple modalities involved, such as the image, the question as the text, as well as the mathematical data. The output is not just the final answer, but also an explanation on how the answer has been derived. So it's a perfect example of multimodal reasoning. Let me first start by showing you some images of the mathematical problems which we want to solve. I've also listed the questions which we would like the AI to answer. For example, here we would like to find the area of the triangle. In this figure, we would like to find the value of X and Y. And here we would like to calculate the parameter of the shape. In this particular question, the shape is a parallelogram. So we would like to find the value of X. And this is an equilateral triangle with a side length of six. And we would like to find the area of this triangle. I'll be using OpenAI GPT-4 MO model, which is capable of handling various modalities at the same time. We can send the image, the question, as well as a system prompt, which will indicate on how the model should behave. An output will be the solution to our math problem. Now, there are two ways to send all this data to GPT-4 model. The first is a chat-based approach. However, this approach is a bit long as it requires to send all images one by one and then wait for each response. The faster way is a data-driven approach. We can store all the images and questions in a data set and then process all the records at once. In this way, we get all the answers to all the problems at once. In this demo, I'll be showing you this data-driven approach. I have all these images stored on my PC as well as an Excel file which has got all the questions. Now let us upload these files into my demo platform experienceterrascience.com. So I will go to my platform and then I will go to the experience multi-model AI with reasoning. I have already set up the two data sets. So one is with all the images and the other one is a list of questions. However, for the demo purposes, let me go ahead and upload them. And I will start by selecting all the images. And let me now add them to the platform. All right, so the images have now been uploaded. The name of the image is in the column image underscore file name. And let us now go back and you'll see a data set which is created, which has got all the images. Let us now also upload the CSV file, which has got all the questions. So in this file, there are two columns, the image file name and the question. And you will note that the name of the column image file name is the same as the earlier data set. And the reason is that we would like to later on join the two data sets. All right, so let me now save this data set. All right, so the data set is now saved. And let me now go back. And here you'll see a new data set which is created, which has got all the questions. Now, let me select this data set on the question and click on analytics. And here you see three tabs. And let us first start by displaying the data. I'll make some selections 
and now let us execute. All right, so here we see the list of questions which we have uploaded. Now let me join this file with the image data set. So I will enter the name of the image data set. I will also select the key column to join, which is image underscore file name as this column is present in both the data sets. I will make some other settings and let us now execute. All right, so the joining is now done and the resulting data set has got three columns, the image file name, the question and the image content, which is shown here in a binary format. Now, let me also refresh the list of data sets here at the top and I will see my new data set, which is the result of the join. So let me now go ahead and change the data set and select this new data set, which is the result of the join. And now we are all set to do the multimodal analytics. So let me go ahead and select the column, which has got the image content. Let me also set the column with the question, which is in the text format. So we have the two modalities, the image and the text. Let me also select the column image file name, which I need in the final output. Now here we can enter on how we want our AI to behave. And I will say that you are a helpful assistant that replies in markdown and you'll help me with my maths homework. We'll be using OpenAI as our AI model. And I will make some few other settings and let us now execute. All right, so I have my responses and the responses are in markdown as we have requested. So let us observe the response for the second question which was to find the angle X and Y in a triangle. You can use any markdown tool so that you can convert it into a readable text as shown over here. The advantage of markdown is that, that you will be also able to display mathematical formulas. Multimodal AI has given the correct solution. The value of X is 65 and the value of Y is 90. And in addition, it also gives the reasoning on how these values have been calculated. So this is truly amazing. So my friends, thanks for watching the demo. I would recommend that you can try it out with your own data and you can interact with me through the comments. Please do subscribe to the channel, like the video and see you soon in another exciting demo video.